Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. We're on the grounds of the beautiful Governor's Mansion in Salem. And with us is Chris Darcy, Executive Director of the Oregon Cultural Trust. Thank you so much for being with us. Tell me about the Oregon Cultural Trust. It is a state agency, yet it's publicly funded, correct? We're a state agency. We're, we were established about 10 years ago because the legislature, the governor at the time, and citizens around the state decided that Oregon needed a better way of supporting Oregon's arts, heritage, and humanities. I think uh, many people out there would agree that uh, the license plates are beautiful. The Oregon Cultural Trust, um, how does that help fund what you're trying to do? Every cultural license plate that's sold uh, generates dollars for the Oregon Cultural Trust and actually helps our marketing and communications work so that we can talk about how important culture is to people in every region of the state. Now, when you say you are publicly funded, is that corporations, or are they individuals? How, how are your funds raised? Oregon has established an interesting way of supporting culture. We've created a cultural tax credit that rewards people for contributing to culture, any cultural organization in the state, and then encourages people to make a gift directly to the Oregon Cultural Trust, and that donor would then receive a tax credit. Now, a lot of people, and, and when you look at the schools, they're losing programs, they're losing music programs. Programs. How do you go out there and tell prospective uh, contributors why culture is so important? Well, interesting, polling shows that many people really believe that the arts belong in Oregon schools. So what the Oregon Cultural Trust does in large part is to support cultural organizations that actually provide the kinds of education that a kid can't get in a classroom. For example, living history programs at the High Desert Museum in Bend, um, free admission to school children at the Oregon Historical Society in, in Portland, um, educational outreach that the Oregon Shakespeare Festival in Ashland would do. So we are really, we're value added for kids and for teachers and for Oregon schools. Now besides the schools, what other programs would you fund? We would fund touring by dance companies, Body Vox in Portland, for example, to go to Roseburg or to the Oregon coast. We supported a tour the last year of Capella Romana, uh, the Byzantine music organization, helped them get to the Oregon coast, to Lincoln City and Tillamook. Um, we've supported actors from the Oregon Shakespeare Festival going out to our residencies and schools in Astoria, rural communities. Um, so we fund the full range of cultural activities. Now, Oregon demographics uh, over the years and, and rather quickly are changing. How does the Cultural Trust bring all the different diversity together? Well, interestingly, we provide direct cultural support and funding to the nine federally recognized tribes in the state. We've also helped support um, the work of Miracle Theater in Portland, which has done residencies and done touring, bringing their Spanish-speaking bilingual uh, uh, productions out to um, rural communities, which have really increased uh, Hispanic populations. So many people are affected. I know many people go to the theater, many people go to watch Body Box, but as far as who you might touch and reach out and touch, um, 60,000 employees, is that right? Well, there are about 60,000 people employed in arts-related businesses mm -hmm. in Oregon. So when you think about uh, people involved in the film industry, people involved in the ad, ad agency, creative companies, and then the, all the technical people who are behind the scenes, um, you know, the stage managers, the set designers, folks like that, as well as people who are independent authors, indiv individual artists. There are about 20,000 artists who make their living just making their work in Oregon. But the audience for culture is much larger. So when you think about our population, we have a population of about 3.7 million. Mm -hmm. Well, about 5 million people experience a culture in Oregon each year. So we're talking about tourism as well. Exactly. People would travel here to go come to Ashland. Mm -hmm. People would travel to see uh, rodeos and traditional performances around that. And people would come to all the major performance spaces in Portland and Eugene. All right, Chris Darcy, thank you for being here. And we want to thank you for being here on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.